Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own PvP game and get paid for it. Now, originally I had 4,373 tokens from this room exactly. Could, like, it makes sense because, like, look at all these awesome games. If you want to check it out, um, I will give you the, uh, the name later, but basically I'm just going to be giving you this tutorial right now. Can this notification? There, thanks. Okay. So... First of all, to get your, like, this PvP game all in, like, place, you want to make the, like, the map. So, when people load in, this is going to be the map they see. It doesn't have to be multiple maps, like, mine over there. This is, this game is called PvP+, Plus. there's more maps, but it could literally just be one map. So, you can choose, it doesn't matter, um, uh, yeah, so just choose a style, a theme anything and then make your map now once you're done with the whole map like what i have right here um you're gonna find an area or make an area for your storefront in your buyable keys and you don't need to put a projector here this is just the leader excuse me okay let's not worry about that um but back to what i was saying this this area is like full of keys so this I can pick up because, like, I'm the owner, but all of these usually would be, like, something you need to buy. So, there's this jump boost and the speed boost. They do work. Look if I equipped it. It works. I equip the speed boost. It very much, much works. Um, so, yeah. I'll teach you how to make those later, but, like, this right here is called a storefront. So, basically, you could go up here, search up storefront like this and then it's gonna look like a weird screen you place it and then you head to configure you configure it edit storefront and then right here add w whatever this word is and then everything to in this room will be here even up to your custom shirts so you can select the items and then once you do that like these select them they're gonna appear up there then you press update and they'll save so if i press update it's gonna make this it's gonna make a little box and then it's gonna save right here i scaled mine to be bigger so it's more like noticeable um but yeah so you couldn't put anything from up into this room and you could also so you could also put keys and i'll show you how to make keys so after you do the storefront thing and you want to do a key, you got to go to this room. You got to go to settings. And then you got to go to keys. And then I already have a whole bunch right here, so there's that. And then right now, the PvP game rules is here, so like I can't do anything about it. But once you press add key, there's gonna like this thing's gonna show up so you're gonna put in the name uh of like the key or what do you want it to be and then once you do that take press edit image on this little thing right here it's not always gonna like show up with a random picture but there's like just gonna be a gray key thingy once you put press edit image it's gonna like pull out your camera automatically and then you're gonna take a picture of it and then once you do that um you gotta make a description. I gotta fix this. Far away. Far, far, far. Right there, and then you- It's gotta be more than 10 characters. And then you can set the cost. And then you hit save. Or else it won't save. You could also delete it if you wanted to. And then once you do that, the thing- The key that you created for the object, cre like, click on that object. And then once you find that object, scroll down until you see lock pick up with key. And right now I have a whole bunch, but find that key name that you put and press the check mark on that. So if I do that, I'm pretty sure. No. I gotta figure out the one the one that I haven't bought before or yet. Cause for for the creator of the place it's always gonna be for free i'm pretty sure i haven't bought this one 
No, I have. Okay. So, whatever thing you do, when you um, click on it and you try to pick it up, it's going to ask you to buy it. But for everyone, or not for everyone, only for the creators, it's for free. And then, it's the same thing for like these. Um, if you want to make a jump boost, you got to get a roll chip. And then, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that tutorial right now. But, um, if you want to learn how to make that, just find another video. Um, but yeah, so that's the whole key situation. Now, once you have the map and the keys stuff for, like, people to buy, you want to get this thing called game rules. So, here, let me end the game real fast so I can delete it. Okay, like that. And it's probably going to respawn me, so. But, I don't know. So, yep. It's probably, no, 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 okay. So, search up game rules. Like that, and then... I'm pretty sure... Why is it not here? Oh, it's because I mixed it up. Yeah, it's gonna look like this. Click on it. Get configure, and configure it. Then you click on the top here up game rules. Um, notification and voiceovers, turn all of these off. And then the timing, yeah. Make the timing one, and then make the game end countdown zero, so the game never ends unless a moderator or creator ends the game. And then this join in progress supported, it's when, so when someone joins, it doesn't automatically end the game. Uh, this bottom one, you can turn off. Uh, teams, you wanna make them, you wanna make it so that how many people you want in here. Uh, for me, it's 40. You wanna put that in there, because if there's gonna be 40 people in here, we need 40 teams. And then, that it's only gonna be that one person. So, if we have 40 people, they're each gonna have their own team. And then player visuals, make sure the team outfits are not supported. Like in um, Paintball where they have those outfits. And other, you probably want to turn on auto heal. My delay is going to be 2. It's going to heal 80. Like that. And then you want to turn on player HUD, aka player HUD. Which is going to, I'm pretty sure it's going to show their health bar. And then, if you want infinite ammo, I recommend turning this on in equipment, infinite reserve ammunition. Make sure you check that. And then at the beginning, once you do all that, do automatic start requirements and press automatic game started or automatic game start supported. It's going to automatically start game the game. On. It's going to do this. And now I'm able to shoot people with these guns. Like, I'm blue team, so this I'm my own team right now. So, if I were to get someone else, they'd be on a different color team, and I'd be able to shoot them. And I think that's it. If you got- if Oh, wait. No, 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 no. That's not it. Now, once you get the game rules in, and you're done with that, you want to get the guns in everywhere. Yeah, it doesn't matter if the game is started or not, but I recommend deleting doing the guns before you do the game rules. So you don't have to put them like in one specific spot. You could put them everywhere, like th so. I have them everywhere. At the sniper here, they're just everywhere. They're all over the place. So after you do that, you could do the game rules, or you could do the game rules before the guns, whatever you want to do. But that brings us to our end. If you want a part two on this, uh, make sure to like this video and subscribe, and I will do a part two. So I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.